sister, the younger sister. My name is Caitlin. I live in Nashville. Um, Kara, the day that she passed, it was like 6.30 in the morning. I had a dream. And I usually write my dreams down because they're pretty important sometimes. And I had this dream. And I went to go write it down. And I was like, no, that's too weird. I, I shouldn't write this one down. So I try to go back to sleep. And I wake up again. And I'm like, no, I need to write this down. And so my dream was there it was a man. And he was singing to me. I don't know who the man was. But the dream, and I actually, there was an actual melody, and I actually remember the lyrics. And the dream was, or the song was, there is beauty in life, how the moon reflects off the water. It's not about the length, but how well you lived it. That is Kara to the T. Kara chose to reflect the beauty of her life. She didn't dwell on her sickness. She decided to press forward no matter what came her way. Kara was one of the strongest women I knew. But the truth is, she didn't do it with her own strength. God was supplying her with what she needed, one day at a time. She clung to Jesus with a fierceness. I can't tell you how many times she would call me and be like asking these questions from the Bible. And I'm like, I don't. <laughs> and she would not like like go of things sometimes you know there's things you can't explain when you're reading certain things in the Bible and you're not going to find out until you get to heaven and once she passed I thought that was like seriously one of the first things that came to my mind she's finally getting her answers because she's always constantly digging 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 um, yes we can all agree that her life ended sooner than we prayed for but the life she lived was one of faith, hope, and love in her Savior, Jesus Christ. Kara understood that it wasn't about the length of her life, but how well she lived it. I can't help but think if she was here, she would ask you, how well are you living your life? Would you be making her proud? I close with this poem. If you could see me now, you wouldn't shed a tear. Though you may not understand, I am no longer here. Remember my spirit, that's the real me. I'm still very much alive. Oh, if you could only see. I've beheld our Father's face. I've touched my Savior's hand. The angels all rejoiced as I entered the promised land. Beyond the gates of pearl, I walk on golden streets. I've touched the walls of jasper, dipped my foot in the crystal sea. The beauty is beyond words, nothing can compare. I've even seen your home. Someday I'll meet you there. Allow Jesus to be your guide. His word will show you the way. So please, don't cry. We will meet again someday. Kara, your life has lived well. God is proud of you. Amen.